being on YouTube. I miss talking to myself. I miss looking at myself. And so this is my... This, I'm, it's Mercury Retrograde. There's like a lot of shit going on. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lucy here. And I am ready to beat this motherfucking face. So let's get into it. Dude, my skin has gotten so... Wait, hold on. I drop everything all the time. <laughs> um, just so you guys know, I'm using, I put everything in the description bar, but I'm using the Club Walnut and the Brow Strap from Kat Von D. This was on sale right before the summer started, I want to say. Um, and I got this for $10.50, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, and then I tried it on the store and fell in love. I've always liked powder um, brows. Um, more than pencils because I find that powder usually lasts a little bit longer in my opinion and um, I've been trying to incorporate pencil and brow just depends what kind of mood I'm in um, I'm loving my tan so so much um, I'm just cleaning up underneath my brow um, you know this is my usual actually today I haven't used this in a while this is the Too Faced multi-use sculpting concealer in the color butterscotch I don't really have like an idea of what I want to do. I just, it's been so long. I would say it's been a month since I beat my face. Like I'm talking about really going in there and, and getting in there. Like actually, maybe I should like zoom in for this part. Like I haven't done my brows in so long. Lately I've been putting brow gel on and calling it a day. I don't know, this is another reason why I wanted to come back to the channel I'm like, I haven't done anything special for myself. I haven't, like, put Sherry first. It's like, where the hell has my brain been? You know, I changed jobs. I did a, a lot of stuff has changed. And, like, I'm, I feel like I've always been good at adapting, but I struggle with adapting, adapting for the sake of adapting as opposed to adapting for something that's going to benefit me. But, um... I'm just like in another place and I, I, I'm excited. I feel like the last six months have showed me a part of me that I'm really not fond of and I want the last six months of 2019 going into 2020 to show me like a new version of myself and and to be like just happy. I, I've struggled with being happy so much. This bra looks crazy on camera but looks good in person but I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I struggle so much with being happy. Like, who? you have to work really hard to be happy. It's not something you just wake up and do. It's not like breathing. It's not like, you can get there. I feel like it's, it's, it's a little bit more difficult when you like, you put these parameters on your, on your, on yourself of like, how do I achieve that? It's been a very emotional cancer season. Like this is, I have cried so much in the last 30 days that I'm like, Bring a Leo season where we are just all fucking happy even if we're faking it. Because I sure as hell need it. I'm using the brown sugar palette from Color Pop. This is the, uh, what is it? This is a collaboration with Gucci. I remember when I did this video, I thought my, this video was going to do numbers. And it didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's so pretty. It feels good to just talk to myself and do makeup. Um, I'm just throwing this up here. Nothing special. Not even possible to like spend time with your friends and family, take care of you, work three fucking jobs, they do all these things like my ugh, I want this that high. It's just been a lot. I, I know I've repeated that all over and over but it really has. A lot. And right now, I'm just trying to focus on me. I don't want any distractions because clearly, I can get distracted to the point that I wasn't posting on my channel for three months. So I will get there. I will definitely get there. And I need to remind myself more often than not how much it's, this is a marathon. You know. This isn't 
Like you're gonna get to all the places you need to get to and maybe they may not come as fast as you would like them to, but you're gonna get there. And I think a lot of what's happened to me this year has been about, do you have faith to believe that like, even if it doesn't happen today or tomorrow in 10 years or whatever, that that could happen to me and that I can make my dreams come true and I can like, go travel and like one day have the love that I want in my life and get married and that I can have the house and I can have everything that's on every vision board that I've created in the last five years that those things can happen for me like my faith has been tested so much and it's just caught up to me now that I have neglected myself the universe is like, oh, you've tried to take care of everybody but you. Here is something to remind you that you have no choice but to work on you. There's nothing really special about it. I just used three colors. Jamocha, Auburn, and Ginger, which are these. One, two, and three. Oh, these three, yeah. And I'm just going to... Oh, and I used a Sorrel, too. Have you had a Sorrel punch? So I have the... Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops from Junk Elephant, which are really nice. They have peptides in them. And because I'm a little darker, I just want to do like a little pump of this. And then I'm going to do, um, because I'm a little darker and I think that this fits me a little bit more, this is the 505 from Makeup Forever. This is the matte velvet skin. This is really nice if you are going out and you want to, like, you want your shit to stay you want to look like skin too you know this is my favorite foundation this is probably gonna go down as like favorite foundation ever but everyone does things differently um blend this sucker in or blend this bitch out that's what's interesting about my skin let me move closer is that it's that i have always felt like some colors work best on me and then they they don't necessarily match the bottle but I feel like by the time I put a pressed powder and I put a um what is it I put all my powders on and I do all these things like they end up blending out and end up matching my neck and if they don't I will make it work that's the power of me Paula I really want something I do know how to focus on that I'll tell you that oh this looks so fucking good I don't even have to put too much, which is so nice. I use, isn't it nice when you clean off everything you put on your little, your little thing and you don't waste any, I hate wasting foundation. That's like the worst. My Fenty, you know, this has slowly become um, a favorite of mine. So it's not too late. It's closer to my actual skin. And when I first got it, I felt like it was reading pink because I had been, um, a different you know I've been a little bit lighter I get a little bit lighter during the winter time I don't even a little bit I think I get dramatically lighter in the winter time and uh, oh gosh see this concealer looks so freaking good with this foundation it's funny because I have a Fendi foundation I don't wear it I want to wear it actually on the night that I'm going out and I know I want to like be bam bam I just don't care for how have to use like five pumps to get it going like I only needed a little bit of the milk foundation and the makeup forever foundation to get the coverage that I wanted and I'm a full coverage queen so that tells you a lot you guys know my derma blend I bought the oh shit that was not a good idea <laughs> I just tapped it off and the van was going over there. Um, I bought this, obviously you guys know, during a haul. I've not used, stopped using it since uh, probably four months ago at this point. And it's just, it just gets the job done that I need. Um, I can press this, it never messes up. I just like that it never messes up my foundation or concealer or anything like that. Um, I personally prefer it as, um, Underneath the eye, I don't know if I'm that crazy about 
the forehead. I mean, the rest, sorry. I, I prefer it underneath the eye, and I don't know if I'm particularly crazy about it over the whole face. I want to get into like doing more cream products. I was watching um, Hindash. If anyone's ever seen Hindash, he makes makeup just looks so effortless. Um, and I like his style. I think I'm definitely more like YouTuber, Instagram girl. And I'm okay with that. Like it doesn't bother me. But the way he does it, he just makes it just look so good. So I'm just going to go in with the throwback goodie, which is the color Deep. And this Deep Mahogany, this is a micro screw from the Sephora collection. I don't want to be too powdery, so I just dipped a little bit. That should hit the whole face. And I don't want to do too much because that is normal for me. Oh, I love this. I use this brush to put a little bit of the shimmer. I'm just bringing the shimmer a little bit underneath. Um... And then doing the other side. I'm so dehydrated right now. Probably because the fans in front of me. I should drink some more water. All right, I've got a controversial thing to talk about, but I have been enjoying. Uh, this is the only Kylie cosmetics thing I have. I'm really obsessed with pressed powders, as you guys know. I love pressed powders more than setting powders. I am a powder queen. It's not about. I'm just gonna own it. I love powders, right? And when she came out with her um, collection for, I think, winter or something like that, something along the lines, I was like, I want to get this thing that everyone keeps talking about, and then it was sold out, and then she made it a part of the collection when she did her, like, blushes and stuff, and I was like, oh, I'll buy it. And then every time I came to buy it, for some reason, I kept telling myself no, and it was okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to have it, whatever, whatever then there was like free shipping shipping was like 10 bucks and i was like okay if i just pay for the product i'll feel a little bit better about it and i just was kind of swimming in a little extra cash and i was like treat yourself so i ended up buying the perfect your perfect pressed perfecting powder and it's light illuminating i say the product the product's good the product is good it gives me that illuminated like fresh and whenever i take pictures it looks even better and i, I really like enjoy it i think it looked good on camera right now i like it in person without making me look like i'm like ghostly especially for someone like i'm i'm chocolatey like i have melanin in my skin so the fact that this you know like light yellowish color works for me says a lot and there's only one um and then just because i wanted to try bronze i've I've recently got into bronzing lately, so I bought Tawny Mommy. I'm not the craziest about it. I wonder if I'll like it now just because I've um, gotten a little bit deeper. Just make me a little bit dark around the edges. And just bring that in. And then I like to, for it to just marry the contour just a tad towards the top. And then always bringing that into the hairline. That's it. And now I feel I look like I was outside for like six hours living my best life. That's it. That's the look at my makeup. I'm like, bitch, you have too much. But then again, there's like never too much makeup, if you know what I mean. There's never too much makeup. Ever. I'm so satisfied with the way that this came out. This is my jam. Ooh, I'm getting a little. Sorry, guys. I just... This is what I mean about getting distracted. I went into everything under the sun, um, including putting on mascara, my favorite liner from Marc Jacobs. Um, the mascara I've been using lately has been the NARS Climax. I like the um, formula, but I'm not crazy about the brush. Um, it gets everywhere. I feel that it's probably going to um, smudge at a certain point. Not smudge, but I think it's gonna like, I call it leak, but it's really gonna, um, oh, I really like how smoky this looks.
from Huda Beauty, which I like. This is Joyride. This is what it looks like. Um, I'll do a little swatch. It's on the pinkier side, which I don't mind. So I think the lip gloss. I'm gonna. I mean, they're gonna do Fenty. I'm gonna do the Dior. Yeah. This is this is my jam. Just put a little bit because this shit is picante. final look guys thanks so much for listening to me bullshit and talk and come back to you guys and giving me a warm welcome receiving me well this is summer 2019 this is a little bit of a look i feel bronzy i didn't put blush or highlight on who am i what's wrong with you